Andrew Scheer, a staunch conservative, unleashed a scathing critique of the liberal government, which he believes is heavily influenced by the NDP liberal coalition. His accusations revolve around corruption, tax hikes, and what he sees as the government's broader social failures. Central to Scheer's argument is his interpretation of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. In his view, the Charter is meant to shield citizens from government overreach, not to exempt the government from accountability. He goes on to accuse the current administration of stonewalling the RCMP, offering no substantial evidence for the possible investigation into corruption, despite scandals involving the diversion of $400 million in taxpayer money to Freedom Party insiders. After nine years of NDP liberal government, taxes are up, costs are up, crimes up, times up, and corruption is way up. Here's what we know so far. The liberals stack the SDTC board with their close friends. That board makes decisions as to which companies get grants worth millions in tax dollars. The Auditor General uncovered a massive scandal. These liberal insiders funneled almost $400 million to their own companies. They got rich, taxpayers got the bill. Now the government's refusing to hand over the documents to the RCMP, for a potential criminal investigation. So what have they got to hide? Yeah, it is both the RCMP and the Auditor General who have raised their extreme concern with what the Conservatives have put forward. Every Canadian should be concerned about the fact that the first instinct of Conservatives is to suspend the charter rights of Canadians. The charter is there to protect the people from the government, not to protect the government from accountability by the people. Well, millions of Canadians are suffering from higher taxes, higher prices, and doubled housing costs, all caused by this government. The Speaker has ordered that the House of Commons can deal with no other business until this corruption motion is dealt with, and they still won't hand over the documents, preferring that Parliament grind to a halt. While millions of Canadians are lining up for food banks, Liberal insiders are lining their own pockets. So when will the government hand over the documents and when will the government get Canadians their tax dollars back? I think my honourable colleague's erratic and unhinged behaviour is because he knows that he is being completely false in what he is putting forward to this place. On the other side, Libertarian Karina Gould dismisses Scheer's claims, characterizing his accusations as erratic and baseless. She argues that the Conservative Party, rather than focusing on real issues, is seeking to undermine Canadian constitutional rights. While Scheer frames the issue as government arrogance and irresponsibility, Gould redirects the conversation, suggesting the Conservatives are attempting to suppress the Charter's true purpose. Scheer's perspective, rooted in classical liberalism, emphasizes limiting state power accusing Liberals of using the Charter to protect their political agenda rather than individual freedoms. But Gould's rebuttal seems to evade the core corruption claims. Instead of directly addressing the allegations, she shifts the focus to defending rights, which, in light of the accusations, could come across as a deflection rather than a solid defense of the government's actions. 